Tessa was born without a nose. There are around 100 individuals in the world with FAM syndrome, making it one of the rarest conditions there is. I really can't wait for a new nose that's going to make me really happy. My bad syndrome will not stop me from doing anything. It's disappointing that I can't smell the good smells, but it's awesome that I can't smell the bad smells. Even if they were able to make an airway for Tessa with her nose, uh, she still wouldn't be able to smell because she actually doesn't have the part of your brain that actually processes the smell. Tessa was born without a nose. It's a condition known as BAM syndrome now. She also has limited vision in her right eye and none in her left. And she also then will probably need some hormone replacement to start puberty. The pregnancy progressed like any normal pregnancy which meant that when she was born, it was a huge shock. And then very quickly, you just start to be worried for your baby because I didn't know if she was going to be healthy or survive. Because she doesn't have a nose, at eight days old, they inserted a trachea and that helps her breathe. So this is just changing the trachea tube. I'll pop this one in. <coughs> it's too tight. Too tight? So just in the same way as most people have a mouth to breathe through and a nose, Tessa has her mouth and her trachea. So whenever you don't have your uh, speaking valve on, Tess, what happens? My voice gets quieter and breathy. And then so this is a speaking valve. It goes louder. Yes. Healthy. Excellent, Tessa. <laughs> there are currently around 100 individuals in the world with BAM syndrome, making it one of the rarest conditions there is. Those are the pictures of your skull, skull printed out. It's awesome. Hi, Miss Tessa. And she was the first person in the world to have a nose made using 3D technology. How are you feeling? They were able to put in a little implant in behind her nose and give her this little bump that was super cute and that was her first nose. When she was four, we went back over and they put in the larger implant. It led to some stitches reopening, some infections, and eventually they had to make the decision to remove the implant completely. And we're all ready for surgery on, on Monday and right now she doesn't have any implants at all, so she looks very much like she did whenever she was a baby. Still gorgeous. Look, you're absolutely beautiful without a nose and with a nose. But she's really hoping that they're able to restart the process of getting a new implant. So hello, hi, Dr. <laughs> Ong. We're talking to one of Tessa's consultants at Great Ormond Street, Dr. Ong, about the, the next steps for Tessa. So listen, we're gonna we're gonna get um, design a little nose for you, yeah, and a little bit more fat grafting. Do you remember that? And to give you a little bit more um, fat. fat, just near where your nose is. There's a small risk of infection, as you know, mm -hmm. with any plastic implants, but we'll give you some antibiotics anyway, and we'll hope to reduce that risk. Because Tess has had some issues in the past, do you think this time then it will be successful? I think we'll be much more gentle with that skin in that area. So I'm hoping that she'll have a new little nose. That's perfect. That's what we want to hear. And we were just looking at your very first nose, weren't we? Well, there you go, Tessa. That. Yeah, that's the very, very first one. Up and show Dr. Yeah. Ron. There you go. There it is. I really want it like this. Yeah, just yeah. like that. Yeah, because you were only two whenever that one was in, huh? You'll get a brand new nose. Yeah. <laughs> we're not, not going to use <laughs> that one. It's just the old one. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I am excited to get new nose. I hope it's not scary. But this time next year, is there Yeah, the, they'll be able to do another surgery and she'll be able to have her nose in again. The first thing I'll do when I get my new nose is, oh, I've got to put my glasses on. <laughs> Tessa has proved 
everybody wrong. She's exceeded everybody's expectations. She walks into any room and she can lift the mood of the room and just make everyone happy. I really can't wait for a new nurse that's gonna make me really happy. My body syndrome will not stop me from doing anything.